to my friends and subscribers. This is Jamie the Board Game Man coming back with another episode. Today's episode is going to be a really cool card game from 2015 by Looney Labs. It is a two to five player game. It takes about 20 to 40 minutes to play ages eight and up. It is called Just Desserts. No soup, no salad, no entree, just desserts. Now in this game, you own a bakery and you have customers coming in and you're trying to fulfill their orders. Every single customer, except for one, has a favorite dessert. Now you don't necessarily have to have that particular dessert because on each of the cards, it shows the ingredients that they like. So sometimes you could use two or three desserts. As long as all the ingredients match the ingredients on their card, you fulfill their order. Now on all the cards, which you'll see in a moment, a lot of them have different colors. They're like different suits. And if you have five different suits or three of the same suit, you win the game. There's also a couple small little expansions that you can have with this that I did purchase and I do have that I have not opened yet, but I'm going to open up live on this episode. It is just coffee and better with bacon. These are separate from the base game. You can buy these separately. Like I said, these are pretty small, obviously. Small expansions to the game, but it does make it that much more fun. There are also advanced rules in the game that I'll show you as soon as I finish showing the base game how to play it, which I think you'll definitely want to add to your gaming experience as soon as you've played this a couple times you can get the good feel of how the game flows. Like poaching a guest. You can actually attempt to steal a satisfied customer from another player. And there's also a way you can host a buffet. Hey, I got a buffet, guys. Come on over. And you can try to steal a guest that way as well. Totally cool. So let's head on over to the gamer's table right now, and I will show you how to play Just Desserts. Okay, here we are at the gaming table, and here is Just Desserts. As you can tell, the components are pretty much the cards. That's pretty much about it. Here is the instruction booklet. It's just one legal size sheet, front and back. That's pretty much it. Now, the front will show you the concept of the game, the setup, and how to do the base game. And then on the back, it has the advanced rules, which is really cool, So, um, which I will go over those as well. And I'll go over the taste icons that you'll see on the cards and whatnot. I'll go over that as well. So let's uh, show you. Here's, like I said, here's a little box. Very nicely done. Very small. Fit in your pocket. No problem. And here are the cards. I'm going to move this out of the way here. Place this next to me. So let me go over the guest cards. So these are the guests or your customers that are be coming into your store. And each one of these, as you can see, has, like for instance... So I can get without the light shining on it. Candace. And you can see her favorite uh, dessert is candied yams. So what's going to happen is if you see any kind of dessert cards that have these ingredients on the top, you can get her. Now, you don't have to necessarily have her favorite dessert. But as long as you have cards that equal up to veggies and marshmallows, you're good to go as long as there's no chocolate involved in it. She does not like chocolate, so she doesn't want anything with chocolate in it. Same with Fuzzy. You can see his favorite is peanut butter cups. Now, obviously, he likes peanuts and chocolate, obviously, but he doesn't like any marshmallows. So you want to make sure that when you're trying to get him, that if you have anything with peanut and chocolate that does not have marshmallows with it. And then I'll show you one other one here is Inga. Her favorite is the ice cream sandwich, and she likes anything that has ice cream, chocolate, and cookies. Okay, so something along those lines. All right, same with this guy here, healthy, Mr. Healthy. He's, his favorite is pumpkin pie, so he likes the veggies. He likes the pie, but he doesn't like chocolate. So these are the little things you got to watch out for. You also see that there's different colors. You see Inga and Fuzzy are like a green. Candace is like a purple. Mr. Healthy is like an orange. There are all sorts of different colors in here. And see, there's a, a darker green. And uh, let's see, there's like a, like a, I don't know how you want to call that. Not quite an orange, but a dark brown, I guess you could say. I guess you could say that. But there's different colored guests on here, and these are suits. 
So what you're trying to do in the, and to win the game is you're trying to get either five different colors or you can get three of the same. So for instance, if you got these three here, these three are the same customer or the same suit, so you would win the game. Or you can have five, one of each. So say you would want to do something like this, would win you the game, okay? You can have multiples. You can have two of one or, or you know, two of each or something. As long as you uh, end up getting three of one kind, you can win the game. Now, some of these are kind of funny because, like, for instance, some of these people might look a little familiar. Like you have Marianne. She looks pretty darn similar to Marianne from uh, Gilligan's Island, right? So that's pretty cool, too. There's a couple people in here that look somewhat similar to a real-life person, and their name is a little off, so I, I, that's really awesome. I love how they did that, too. I love the artwork on these cards. They are wonderful. I love these. Nature Girl. Remember in the um, at the very beginning of the game, I told you, or at the intro, I told you, everyone has a favorite dessert but one. Well, this is the girl right here, Nature Girl. She, as you can see here, she says, I can't decide on a favorite. Okay. But you can still get her if you get spices, veggies, and apple. So if you find cards that have any three of those on there, you can uh, you can uh, get her as well. Um, but anyway, let's go ahead and show you the desserts. Yummy. Here are the dessert cards. And you can see here, tons of desserts in here. And I mean tons of desserts. Oh, these are upside down. Let me fix these. Here we go. And you can see each dessert has different ingredients on them. So for instance, this apple pie a la mode comes with apple, pie, and ice cream, obviously. Now, if you don't want to look up here, because these are kind of small, and you have a hard time seeing these, they're also on the bottom of the card as well. So that, that really does help as well. Now, when I remember at the very beginning of the game, or beginning of these cards, I showed you that there's different suits. And the different suits are shown down here. You got like a mitt, mitten, you got like a measuring cup. Let me show you these. This is kind of important. Um, like, like a mixer. And then you have like a rolling pin. But these, are, on some of these desserts on here, on the cards, you will see the little icon down below. This one right here is a measuring cup. This tells you that this is one of the guests' favorite dessert. So you want to keep that in mind. So if you see this and you see a measuring cup, you want to kind of take a quick little gaze at what the customers are waiting to be served, and then you might have their favorite dessert, and I will tell you what happens when you get that, okay? So that's pretty much it. So you can see each each dessert have different ingredients. Ice cream sandwich, cookies, ice, or ice cream, and chocolate. Then you got an ice cream cone, you got ice cream and cookie, and then ice cream cake, obviously ice cream and cake. So they do make sense with what ingredients they are. Sugar cookies, well, they like cookie. Some of them only have one icon. Some will have two. In this case, it's baklava. We'll have well, it has pastry and peanut, or some have three ingredients on them, okay? So some of these can really help you out. But then again, some of those that, well, I like ice cream and cookies, but I don't like chocolate, that kind of thing, this, you know, you wouldn't be able to use it on that. But sometimes these three, and sometimes there's even one with four. Like, for instance, on here, the Baked Alaska has four different ingredients. So this is a pretty valuable card as well. Okay, so let me go ahead and show you this. Okay, so let me go ahead and show you the setup. So first and foremost... Each player is going to start off with three dessert cards in their hand. So let's go ahead and draw the top three for player one and the top three for player two. Okay, here we go. And then what next thing you're going to do is you're going to draw three guests from the cards. So you're going to go one, two, and three. Here we go. Make sure you leave room for a discard pile. This is where the discard pile will go. That is very, very important, and I'll tell you in a minute why that is. So our first three customers are Boston Guy. He loves, huh, go figure, Boston Cream Pie. Then you have Bob Fruitcake, who loves fruitcake. And Agent 17, who loves either an apple turnover or a Belgian waffle. So either one of those will work. There's not too many of these customers that like two as their favorite. But in this case, he has two, one, and one. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to look at the three cards we have. And we have Napoleon ice cream, we have cherry pie, and we have chocolate angel food cake. And you can see I have all the ingredients here. Now you can see on two of my cards, it has a little icon down here saying that, well, one of these customers has these as their favorite dessert. Let's see. 
Do we have a Napoleon ice cream? Nope. Do we have a chocolate Asian food cake? Nope, because we don't have a chef's hat. See, we, do, we don't have the mitten either, so neither one of our customers has matches the suit that's on here, okay? So we're going to take a look and see if we can match any, any of these ingredients with what they like. So right now, right off the bat, we got... Um, he likes apple, but we don't have any of the pastry. This guy likes apple cake. So we got apple and cake, but we have no peanut. So unfortunately, we can't pick up Bob Fruitcake. We have the Boston cream pie. Let's see, he likes cake, but we don't have any of the pudding. And that's what this is here. So unfortunately, that's not going to work. So we don't have any matches. So what you're going to do is, uh, what you're going to do is you're going to go ahead and just take a dessert, put, place it in your hand, and that is it. That is the end of your turn, okay? Now, player two is going to look at their cards, and they're going to say, okay, let's see what we got here. Well, I've got cheesecake, ambrosia salad, oh, and the Belgian waffle. Dun, dun, dun. We just said Agent 17 has the Belgian waffle as their favorite dessert. And as you can see here, we have the mixer, the mixer down below here, and he is the mixer. So that's what I was talking about. So we're going to say, okay, we're going to go ahead and... I want Agent 17. You're going to place this in the discard pile, okay? And you're going to go ahead and pick up Agent 17. So now you have one of your customers here. Now, as a bonus, okay, for giving him his favorite dessert, you get a tip, and that is a dessert card. So normally at the end of this turn, you would go for a second customer and try to match what they have. But since you got his favorite dessert, you get to pick up a tip. And this is your tip, a dessert card. So now you're going to look at the two remaining player, or customers and say, okay, let's see what these guys like. Uh, we got a cookie and a, first we got a rolling pin down here, but we have a rolling pin, but it's not fruitcakes. So we know we don't have a favorite, another favorite. That'd be great. Um, let's see, apple. Yeah, we don't have any marshmallows up there. No one has a marshmallow. Uh, no, no one has a cookie either. No one has a pie. Uh, he has the pie. We have no cake. So that would be the end of my turn here. So this would be the end of my turn, just like that. You don't pick up anything else, that's it. Okay? So right now, player two has a one one and nothing lead here, which is great. So now at the beginning of this player's turn, okay, player one, they're going to go ahead and draw a guest. Now we have the tourist as added, and they're going to draw a dessert card. Okay? So now we have five cards, and there is no limit to the amount of cards you can have in your hand. So let's see what we got here. We got a mitten and Napoleon ice cream. No, she likes black forest cake. So that, unfortunately, is not her favorite. Okay, so let's see what we got here. We've got, ooh, chocolate and apple, chocolate and apple and cake. Here we go. So what you can do is you can take these three, because these add up to the three ingredients she has that she likes. Or that's, that's a guy, actually. I'm sorry, the tourist. We're going to grab these three and say, okay. I'm going after the tourist. So you're going to grab these three, place them here, and you get the tourist. All right, so player one now has a tourist. Now, can we do anything with these remaining two cards? Yeah, it doesn't look like there's much of anything here. We've got chocolate and cake. But then we got the pastry, and no one has a pastry. So that's the end of player one's turn, just like that. Okay, now we start player two turn. They're going to grab a guest card, and good old Wally comes out here. He likes walnut brownies, so he's looking for cookies, chocolate, and peanuts. So player two is going to grab their cards, and they're going to take a dessert. Right after you put the guest out, you automatically take a dessert card. Let's see what we got. So we got a rolling pin here, chocolate sandwich cookies, but unfortunately it's not the fruitcake, so we don't have a match there. Now let's see, we got cookies and chocolate for uh, Wally there, but unfortunately we don't have a peanut, so we can't pick him up. Fruitcake, we got, uh, we got apple, but there's no cake. Boston guy, let's see. Boston guy, we don't have any cake here, so we can't do that. So that's end of that. Now, so this is the end of his turn. Now, what happens is, at the end of a turn, if you have more than one of the same color suits up here, you must discard one of them. So in this case, we do have two that have the same color. So player two decides which one of these guys do we want, or which one of these customers, I should say, do we want to discard. Let's just say, let's get rid of Bob Fruitcake. He's been there a while. No one seems to have what he needs. 
So what you're going to do is you're going to take him out because there's two of the same color. You only can have one of each color at the beginning of or at the beginning of the next at the end of his turn. So we're going to take Bob Fruitcake. Now you're going to put him face up. You're not going to put him face down. You're going to put him face up. All right. There we go. So now technically is the end of player two's turn. So now player one, what they're going to do is they're going to grab their cards. Okay. They're going to go ahead and take a guest, place them out here. Professor. Professor likes strawberry shortcake or pineapple upside down cake. But you got to take notice, she does not like chocolate. Okay. So I'm going to grab my cards. Okay. Probably one grab their cards. They're going to grab a dessert card. Okay. Oh, look what we just grabbed. A Boston cream pie. Yay. All right. So right away, we're going to go ahead and say, okay, I want the Boston guy. All right. Now, technically, before I, I didn't really, I didn't even plan this. So that was kind of cool. With this guy here, he is on the discard pile. He is at the door. So he technically has not exited your store yet. So say I were to flip over to the fruitcake, I can still serve him. He is still on the door until another discard goes on top of that card. Then he's no longer available. And that, that, at that point, he's walked out the door. But this person's still at the door, so you can still get him. Okay, so I pulled out a guest. I grabbed a, a dessert card, and yay, yay, yay. We get the Boston cream pie. We place this here. I get him. Now I have two different colors. And as a bonus, because I gave him his favorite dessert, you get a tip. Another card. Now, let's see what we got here. We've got Black Forest Cake, which is a mitten, but we don't have any mittens. We don't have a chef's hat either, so we don't have any favorites there. Can we match a second customer? Let's see, we've got chocolate... Uh, let's see what apple. Oh, see, now we almost could have got her there. We have the apple and the cake, but she doesn't like chocolate, and there's the chocolate. So we cannot use this card for her, unfortunately. So if it wasn't for that chocolate there, we could have snagged her up too. All right, so that's the end of my turn. That's all I can really do. So we're going to go ahead and end that. Okay. And we'll, we'll play one more turn here, just kind of, I think you probably get the gist of it. So I went ahead and grabbed my cards. Another guest comes out. The Lumberjack. And you grab a dessert card. And we added a banana split. Let's see. We, have a, we don't have any gloves. And we have a rolling pin, but it's it's not the walnut brownie, unfortunately. Okay. So let's see what we got here. We got ice cream and cookie. With the ice cream. Oh, I've got ice cream and cookie here. And, well, she doesn't like peanut, but we don't have any peanuts in these. So we got ourselves a good deal here. So see, we got the cookie and the ice cream. But we don't have any peanuts. So we are good to go on this one. So we're going to go ahead and discard these two. We're going to grab the lumberjack like so. And can we do a second customer? Let's see if we can... Um, no. No, I don't, I don't have any cake. I don't have any cookies. I don't have any, well, anything like that. So we're going to go ahead and end our turn. Now there is something else you can do on your turn. And that is if you have your cards and you just don't like these. Maybe you don't like one of them. Maybe you don't like two of them. Or maybe if you have three in your hand, you don't like all three. Maybe you have four in your hand, you don't like all four. You can actually discard them and draw that many cards that you discarded. Okay, you can do that in your turn. That would be your turn. Okay, let's say that these, you know, these are just not working for me. I cannot get anything. Nothing's coming up. I'm just going to get rid of all three of these. You can do that. You can get rid of all three. You could draw three new cards, and then that would be your turn. Okay. So that's something you can do as well. And that what that's what happens. That's how you play the game. You pretty much go back and forth. Every beginning of every single turn, you know, flip over a guest, like so. Flip over a guest, you grab a dessert card. You try to get your, try to, you know, serve any of these customers, especially if you have their favorite, because then you get a tip, which is an extra card, okay? Because then uh, you'd end up getting two on that turn. So at the very beginning of your turn, you grab one. But then you got a favor dessert, then you got another one. So that's cool. You can serve up to two customers in one turn. That's it. And like I said, the guy that's in the, the discard pile, the customer, he is still available. He is still there until, you know, you discard somebody else on top of them, and then he's no longer viable, but now she is. Okay? And that's how that works. And like I said at the very beginning, whoever gets five of the, or five different suits wins the game. Or if you get three of the same color, three of the same suits, you also win the game. Now let me go over a couple of the, the fun parts is the advanced rules. 
Now here's the taste icons, by the way. We were going over on top of the cards. So you have chocolate, cookie, nuts. I say peanut, but I guess it's nuts. Pie, spices, ice cream. Then you have fruit, cake, marshmallow, pastry, veggies, and pudding. So that's what those icons mean on there. Okay. Okay, now let me go over quickly. A couple of the advanced rules, which I think is crazy. And I, I love, I, I've played with the, the, these, these advanced rules before. And, man, you're like, oh, my gosh. You can poach a player or, or poach a customer. So say, for instance, a player, say player one has their cards here. Let me go ahead and grab some cards here. And I end up getting one of the other players. I, I was able to match the ingredients on that card. I can actually attempt to poach one of the customers. So let's just say, for instance, let me see if I can, here we go. Let's say, for instance, I had these two. So player one has these two here. We have the vanilla ice cream and lemon square cookies. As you can see here, she has the ice cream and the cookie, okay? There's no nuts, so we're good. I can attempt to poach this customer. I can say, okay, I wanna to try to poach the lumberjack, all right? So what you do, you're going to kind of hang on to these, or you can place them there if you want. We hang on to them, but this player here can attempt to try to keep that customer. Say they have, they maybe later on in the game, they end up getting the ice cream cone. Say, nope, I don't think so. And they're going to put the ice cream cone down, and then they can keep the customer. But if they do not have the appropriate ingredients to keep the customer there, then this player would discard these two cards, and they would take that customer from you, and bring them over to your side. Pretty brutal, huh? So that's pretty cool. But if, so let's just say, for instance, I had the ice cream cone. Say I actually had the ice cream cone. I don't know where it's at in here. And I say I'm going to poach it. That's an automatic poaching. Because if it's your favorite dessert, you're not going to take that customer. You're not going to be able to get that customer back. That's an automatic poach. <laughs> so if you have the ice cream cone in this case, you automatically get it. You put it in the discard pile. Now, if you try to steal one, say this, you know, these two cards are the ones you could try to steal, but this person goes, uh-uh, nope, I have the card, then they would have to discard theirs, but you get to take yours back because you did not get the customer, okay? And that's how that works. But when you are poaching the customer, if you do get their favorite dessert, you do get to have, you do get the tip, Okay. But it's a player who guessed is stolen, okay? So, for instance, when she leaves and goes over here, as a consolation, you do get a tip because she did eat at your restaurant there. So you do get the tip. Not the person that stole the card from you, but the person that you stole it from, they would get a tip and get a dessert card. Okay, so that's nice. I mean, if anything, you know, they don't just up and leave. They do You leave you a nice dessert tip. So that's that. The second item that's on this is a, oh good, I, got it. I can do it right here. Open a buffet. So say for instance, you have four items here. If you have four single flavor desserts, and they're known as aces, so the, you got four that only have one on there, okay? <laughs> this, is, this is great. You can discard them to force all other players to move one of their satisfied guests of their choice back into the middle. <laughs> Isn't that crazy? So I can say, okay, buffet time, come and get it. So you're going to discard these four. Every other player, not you, every other player needs to choose one of the satisfied guests and put them in the middle. Everyone puts one card in the middle. And in the meantime, I get to draw three more cards, three dessert cards to add them. And I can try to, to, uh, to serve one unclaimed guest, only one. You can't go on a buffet getting the people. You can try to get one person, and that is it. You cannot go for two, only one guest. Okay? And that is the advanced rules. I think that is great. I think that's really cool. You can actually poach a guest and actually steal a guest from somebody else. But then you can say, uh-uh, I have their favorite. But if you have their favorite and you're trying to steal, then obviously you're going to take them because that's their favorite. So, And uh, let's go over... Real quick, before I forget, because I wanted to show you guys this live on the show, the two expansions. Here is Just Coffee. This is one of the expansions you can buy. Let's open this up. I've been wanting to do this since I bought this. All right, here we go. So you get 
some guest cards. You get five guest cards, or four, I'm sorry. You get four guest cards and six dessert cards to add. Let's look at the guests. We have Dr. Coffee. <laughs> so anything with coffee in it, he likes it. <laughs> so that's pretty cool. We also have Mr. Jitters. He likes chocolate espresso beans. <laughs> look at his eyes. <laughs> He's like, Ooh. you know, it's after you go to Starbucks and get a triple, you know. Now the next guest is Coffee Cake. This is Conceptual Artist. So she likes coffee cake on her favorite. Okay. And then uh, you have the movie star. She loves her tiramisu. So there you have that. And you can see it's a new color. It's pink. So now you have a um, another color added to your, your game here. Another suit. And you can see these are the six that have here. The cup of coffee, the tiramisu, the coffee with the donut, mocha cheesecake, coffee ice cream, and the chocolate espresso beans. All right. And you can see all these have the coffee icon in them. So that is your coffee expansion if you want to get the coffee. And then you have Better with Bacon. Here we go. Here's this one. Let's go ahead and open this one up. And these didn't cost much at all. I got these, I can't remember if it was online or eBay. I don't remember where I got these from, but it's, it's under $10. They're very cheap. Four guest cards, six dessert cards. Who are the guests? Abraham Bacon. Hmm, he doesn't look like Abraham Lincoln at all. Uh, all he likes is bacon, man. Just give him a piece of bacon. He's happy. So he is good. And you can see with the bacon, it is a fork icon on the bottom. So that's pretty cool. Next guest, the vegetarian. That's kind of weird to have her in there when uh, no bacon. <laughs> okay. Um, but anyway, that's the vegetarian. Okay. The next guest is the farmer. She loves bacon chip cookies. Okay. There she is right there. That's the farmer. And the final guest. Hmm. Does he look familiar? Kevin. Yeah, Kevin Bacon. <laughs> he looks just like him. <laughs> he likes the, um, what is it? The chocolate chocolate bacon cupcakes. So he likes chocolate, and he likes the bacon and the cake there. So those are the five new guests we get to put in there. And then the desserts is the candied bacon, maple bacon donut, bacon chip cookies, bacon ice cream, chocolate dip bacon, and chocolate bacon cupcakes. So these we get to add to the game as well. And those are the two expansions you can get for just desserts. I really hope you enjoyed this episode. This game is so much fun to play. I have played it online on BGA, uh, Board Game Arena. They do have that on there. And they do include these cards. They include all these in that game, so which is really cool. And it depends on the person who starts the game, whether you can poach or not. I think the advanced rules, it kind of depends. Some, I've played with them, without them. Um... But that is the game. I hope you enjoyed the episode. If you did, uh, please click on that like button. And if you're not a subscriber, subscribe today so you can uh, hit that notification bell so you're notified of any future episodes that I upload. And until next time, my friends and subscribers, thank you so much for watching. And you've just watched Just Desserts.